is a channeled message and um, light language activation um, healing for the um, completion of the Lion's Gate portal um, as the door is kind of closing we've we've gone through the peak of the um, Lion's Gate energies um, found them to be really powerful <laughs> um, and um, so the things that I've noticed coming up was um, a huge amount of density um, and blockages to progress of any kind, um, progress on your path, progress on your plans, progress on your soul mission, progress into the abundant life that we're here to create, um, the new golden era that we're here um, transitioning into and part of creating and um, so I felt around the, the 8th and the 9th um, huge um, density coming up and clearing out almost like all the dust being um, coming being exposed that's been uh, swept under the rug that kind of thing and um, then coming coming out kind of on the 11th with this feeling of lightness this um, feeling that that had all been cleared away almost like there'd been a storm and everything had been cleansed and cleared and it was that kind of fresh feeling after the storm but with still a whole lot of debris um, left around so um, the way I was experiencing this in my outer reality is um, driving along the road it's such a metaphor so driving on your path <laughs> to get to your destination um, there, there was kind of like an open road like there was not a lot of people on the road which is rare so it was like um clear roads um so less density less congestion less congestion um so that if there was nothing in the way on those open roads um because there's no congestion you could get to your destination really quickly um but um, <laughs> there was still a huge amount of blockages in the way. Um, for example, uh, there would be traffic suddenly coming the other direction in a narrow street with cars parked on either side. Um, so you've got to pull off the road, let that car pass and then pull back in, um, followed by, um, a, but then pulling out onto an open road um, when you're turning onto a T-junction. Just no traffic in the way. Don't have to wait for any traffic to pass. Again, this was unusual at that junction. Just completely clear road. Um, then um, immediately after that, there was a traffic light um, fallen over across the road. Um, not a traffic light, a street lamp. Um, so that all the traffic had to change to the other side of the road plus go up on the uh, footpath and then around and down blocking the other traffic coming the other way. This is just a very um, first two minutes of my journey. The entire 30 minute journey went like that. Um, clear roads but with people pulling out across the road in front of me so that I have to stop suddenly um, police cars coming um, towards me on my side of the road um, with their sirens on and um, the entire journey just just really having to have my wits about me um, so even though there's no congestion there's an open road um, there seemed to still be a, a whole lot of confusion um, a whole lot of um, it was like um, 
it was like the timeline still adjusting to the change of vibration to the um the lighter density um and the the um the reality and the brains and the neurons of the population not having quite caught up yet with the shift so i could very tangibly feel the um the lightness and the lack of congestion <laughs> the the clarity of the frequency and the air and the space whilst um still having to really have my wits about me as the whole um of reality adjusted to the shift so um that's the best way i can describe um the change that i felt um from the lion's gate energies um i also am very strongly connected to the twin flame um collective and this felt representative of that as well as the general shift in the um collective of the planet so um within the twin flame connections it feels like um the blockages that were in the way of working together as a unit coming together as a unit um being in co-creation um has have gone like it's dropped the the unity has dropped more from the 5D down further down into um 3D reality um however there's still um catching up to do around what that means in reality and how how that actually happens in reality um and whether the blocks that are still currently in the way like the lamp light falling over etc um you know what what they what they are and how to maneuver around them to get where you're going um there was also a lot coming in around um the higher plan so um so one of the ways i saw this i was guided to watch a movie and in that movie there was something that was said at a particular point and i feel a charge and i feel it's almost like i get tapped on the shoulder by the angels that's that's um a message from us so it was like um 22 is the, for me like the twin flame number um it's also a very a personal number for me um so that 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 kind of has double meaning for me and um uh there was a gynecologist who was um telling a woman that he's just just delivered twins a couple of hours ago and that he's delivered 22 sets of twins and um he's noticed that whenever the twins are girls two girls um it, it's crazy like it doesn't matter who comes out first it's a race to the finish and it's like they both want to come out at the same time um and you have to has to kind of do them one at a time of course and but they're both almost like on top of each other trying to get out but when ever one of the twins is a boy so if it's two boys or if it's one is a boy so i'm seeing this as when there's a divine masculine involved um there is a um divine plan is the only way he could describe it this there's always a plan that's been hatched before the actual delivery and um that plan involves one twin sitting peacefully quietly just waiting for the other one to be born there's an order um and <laughs> i got a chill it was just like um so appropriate to the uh, twin flame journey and um how the divine feminine has to sit <laughs> sit and wait i mean she's not waiting she's just doing her work but uh sit and wait for that masculine to uh, get there um and for him to be birthed um for him to 
his spirit to really fully descend into the reality to um, understand who he is and where he's at and that he's a twin and be be birthed into the twin flame journey and um, at the end of the movie the um, the doctor is holding up a baby boy <laughs> and saying it's a boy so the the masculine was birthed um, and this really very much goes along with all the um, the journey that I've been following of the masculine over the last six months since about November um, it's been very much about the divine masculine um, really coming into his uh, strength and his purpose and knowing who he is and um, awakening to a new level <laughs> and um, this was the masculine being birthed so I hope that um, this resonates with um, you guys that are on the twin flame journey um, I think it's also relevant if you're not on the twin flame journey you know I think masculines as a whole are coming into their power coming into their consciousness and their presence um, and it's a it's a whole global phenomena um, even the divine masculine within all the feminine all the females on the planet um, we're really um, coming into balance between the masculine and the feminine principles and um, shifting those things where the masculine principles of action and um, warrior and, uh, you know, soldiering on regardless of... Um, other people or um, the bigger picture just just really survival kind of level um, getting ahead kind of thing the kind of narcissistic type of uh, mentality is um, being cleared out of the collective and we're moving into a more conscious um, heart-based way of um, interacting and connecting and um, living in the world so I'm just going to see if there's any um, anything that wants to come through from the guides ことことことことことことことことことことことことことことことことことことことことことことことことことことことことことことことことことことことことことことことことことことことことことことことことことことことことことことことことことことことことことことことことことことことことことことことことことことことことことことことことことことことことことことことことことことことことことことことことことことこと
ki ka 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 to koko 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 te ki ka ka ta koko koko ki ka 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 ki ka ka koko koko ki ka ka lara koko te i pa ka to koko ka ta ka pa ka gita ka ta ka ta 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 ki ka 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 koko 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 ki ka 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 koko 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 ta ka ra ka to po to koko to koko to koko ki ka ka ta koko 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 to po to koko 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 ki ka 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 ra ka po ko to ko bita ka pa to ko po to ka 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 to ko po ko to po ko 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 ki ka 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 ra ka 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 ko 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 ti ka pa ka ta ka 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 to ko 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 ti ka 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 ki ka ka ra pa ka ta pa ka ta ka pa ta ka pa ti ki to po ko to po to ko ko pi to ko po ko ko to ko 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 so ko po to ko ko ti ka pa to ko to ko ko to ki ta pa ka pa pa ta pa ti pa ti pa ra ka pa to ko po to ki pa 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 ta ka pa 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 ta ka pa 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 ta pa ka ko po po to ko po to ko pi pa pa ta ka pa to ko po ko po to po ko to ko ki ka pa ta ka pa pa ka ta pa ka 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 ta ko ki ta pa ka 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 ta ko 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 ki ka ka ta pa ko ko to ko ko to ko to ko to ki ta pa ta ko ki ta pa ka pa ta ka pa to ko ko to ko 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 to ko ko to ko to ko ki ta pa to ko pa to ko pa ti pa ta ka pa ta ka pa to ko to ko to ko to ki ta ka 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 ta ka ta ka to ko to ko to ko to ko ti ka ta ka ta ka to ko ki ka ka ta ra ka pa to ko to ko to ko ki sa ka pa ta ka ta ki ta ka ta ka to ko 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 to
yeah, uh, getting a sense about making wishes, magic um, being available, um, just very um, gentle um, ease kind of feeling about um, the the way the way forward, um, just just this sense of things being easier to manifest um uh the especially for empaths and light workers the energies being a bit easier to manage in your day-to-day life while you're doing your day-to-day things and um the, the path forward being clearer in general so i hope you can receive those energies um and um yeah enjoy Take care. If you're interested in the artwork, um, <clears throat> it is a um, encoded painting. So, um, looking at it and taking it in, you will receive codes. Um, the painting is the Nautilus shell, which is the Fibonacci spiral, which is um, manifestation from the from spirit into reality in perfect. Um, alignment and perfect template um, and then that is a um, preconception and um, that that angel shaped cloud is um, coming down on a ray of golden light is the incoming souls so it's basically the um, the higher plan the preconception doesn't have to be a child but it is about a child it could be an idea a concept a mission um coming down from the heavens into physical reality via the fibonacci spiral and into reality so it's it's called creation it's about manifestation and it felt very appropriate to um this message um that came through with the closing the lion's gate so um yeah this is a healing so Drink lots of water, give yourself time to integrate and listen to it as many times as you need to. Blessings.